Hi. Hello. Hi, my name's Claire. What's your name? My name is Mohammad Ramzan. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I am great. How was your day today? Uh, yes, everything is uh, going well. And uh, now I thought that I have a few questions and uh, using which I could able to do, the, uh, do some practice with you. Perfect. Uh, yes. So uh, uh, basically, I am learning uh, English and I am more focused on uh, my uh, listening. So in order to understand the pronunciation of the people who are uh, native speakers. So uh, can you please, uh, uh, are, you, are you interested to sing any song? <laughs> basically i i am uh, what i want is like uh, i have the problem in uh, uh, finding out the pronunciation of that specific word which is uh, which the people are singing at the time of uh, at the time of singing so what i want is that you should sing few uh, lines and i will be picking some words from uh, that specific song because i i i feel hard to uh, to find out those words. Oh, okay, so you're thinking of the specific song? Yes. No, uh, okay. I... Yeah, 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 sorry. Which song? Any which you are interested in. Oh, God, I'm not much of a singer. We can, if you want, we can watch a song on YouTube, maybe, and we can go through that way. Yes, yes, no problem. Yeah, wait, let me find... What kind of music do you like? Any, 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 I mean, in which you are more confident. Okay, well, I'll go through, because um, what I'll do, I'll play the song first so you can see how it sings, and then I'll go a little more slowly. Um, what song? Okay, let's go something. Um, so how long have you been learning English? Uh, actually, I'm learning from last uh, uh, three years, but now I'm more serious about my pronunciation and accent and all. So yeah. I joined the Camly and now I'm connecting on with foreigners. And in that way, I am feeling comfortable with, uh, with communicating with them. Nice. Okay, so I think well, I found a song that you can listen to. Mm -hmm. Let me give you one second and I'll share my screen. Do you know Bruno Mars? Uh, no, I don't know. Okay, good. So we'll listen first. I want you to tell me what you think it is and then we'll look again with the lyrics. No, you, you, just, you just directly go to the lyrics and uh, start singing. I don't, I'm not comfortable singing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I will any 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 of the song in which uh, you have uh, a few lines. I let's do it this way. Hey, I don't feel comfortable singing today. If you give me time to prepare, maybe. Okay, no problem. So, uh, so in the next class, what I want is like you should prepare a song, and uh, then after I will be listening to you and okay. trying to understand the pronunciation of the song. Okay. For now, let's take a look at this one and try and write down what you think they're saying. No, no, what we can do is like, uh, you should, uh, uh, it's better to ask me a few questions, quick questions. Okay. And I will be giving you the reply and you should uh, correct me if I'm uh, wrong somewhere. Okay, great. Uh, so first thing, can you uh, tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, I am a software professional. I develop uh, websites and mobile apps. Okay. Um, and so can you tell me about your last birthday? What did you do on your last birthday? That is uh, um, February. Mm -hmm. Oh, recently. Yes, <laughs> in the February itself. But yeah, this time I... Remember, uh, never the February, in February. Yes, yes, in February. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I uh, I have not celebrated that one. Okay, why not? <laughs> it was because uh, the place where I am living uh, is not much focused on uh, celebrating the birthdays and all. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Earlier, I was in a company uh, where we had a lot of people around and they were actually doing such type of activities. And over there, uh, in the last year, I did that. Ah, so what did you do two years ago? No, last year. What did you do last year? Uh, you mean that what we did? Yes. Yeah. Nothing. They have just uh, brought a cake and then <laughs> done the same thing like happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> and so which region are you from? Sorry? Which region are you from? I am in in northern part of India. Great. Yes. So what are you are you married? Are you married? No. Okay. Okay, so uh, can you can you suggest me? I am uh, thinking that what would be the best age to get married? Hmm. I think probably it depends on the person. I think probably not later than 30. Well, if I think if you want children, it's better to get married before 30. I think if children aren't so important to you, then maybe you have more time to think about it. Yes, yes. So, I mean, is there any specific thing that we have to uh, consider while getting married? I think in the UK, it's increasingly common that maybe people choose to buy a house instead of getting married because of how expensive it can be. Um, mm -hmm. So I think probably cost is important um, in terms of having a place to live, in terms of making sure that that people want the same thing, that they're both interested in a similar lifestyle. What do you think? Yes, yes. What I think is that once I become more financially free and just think about that, if I am, uh, I am able to take the responsibility of the other person and I have enough money to uh, fulfill all the needs, so then I think that I can live a comfortable life and whatever age is over there, I mean, it can be 25, it can be 30, not yeah. more than 30, yeah. yes. <laughs> Do you have brothers or sisters? Sorry? Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have. Are they married yet? Mm, yes, my sister get married and my brother is not yet. And me also not. Uh, okay, yeah. Is your sister the oldest? Yes, yes. Nice. And how was her wedding? What did you do for the celebration? Mm, that is, yes, very much uh, uh, cultural. So in that we have a lot of functions and all. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah we had the party and uh, for the two or three more days. Nice. Two or three yes. days. Yes, yes. Wow, what do you do for two or three days? Uh, I mean, the people who are our relatives, so they come to our home and uh, there are small, small activities which they do. And end of the day, we, um, uh, we uh, yes, the person who is uh, my sister's husband. So from there, there are a lot of people who come to, uh, to our uh, home and then uh, we... Uh, give them a specific type of dishes and all and yeah. then after yeah. they, they return back and all i mean there is a lot of stuff over there nice uh your sister's husband you can call your brother-in-law okay brother-in-law yeah no it's it's not incorrect to say my sister's husband but you can just also say brother-in-law which is more precise yes um, okay yeah so what's what's your uh, profession um, I'm getting my master's degree at the moment. Okay, so you are a student right now? Yeah, yeah. I had been teaching English before, um, and but I have decided to change career. So I'm a master's student, yeah. Mathematics student? Master's. Master's, okay. Yeah, I'm studying public policy. Okay, okay, that's great. Yeah. So is there any, is there any specific reason that you uh, have choose this one? Um, I because I'm interested in research, I'm interested in policies that can try and help people and in um, in trying to find out more about why things work and why things don't work and how we can try and make a more effective government that helps more people.
without being yes. politics. I don't want to work in politics. I want to work in policy <laughs> so you don't have to deal with the messy stuff. Yes, yes, that's nice. <laughs> so uh, can you can you give me any tips to learn spoken English? To learn spoken English, I mean, the obvious things of talking all the time is important. Something I found useful when I was learning a language is to read uh, novels and write out words you don't know and then try to practice using them. Um, I think it can be useful to try and think in your head in English, even if you're just making yourself a cup of coffee. Like, okay, I'm putting down the mug, I'm picking up the spoon. Try and, as much as you can, think in English. I think that one's important to get used to it. Um, and also to watch movies. And again, if you hear a word you don't know, write it down. Because movies especially are good for more casual language for speaking. So if you see an expression or an idiom or something like that. Yes, okay, great. So you um, had you had a question earlier? Um, I don't, I think I was gonna ask what you did this weekend. Uh, yes, you can. So actually, I have a uh, lot of commitments to uh, do. Like I do freelancing, I have to finish some projects oh, for my clients. And uh, other than that, I have my own project and I am also working on that. Wow, very busy. Yes, busy what's schedule. You, yeah, what's your project? Uh, my project is, my, what, my project, okay. My project is like I developed a website that is keywords.com. So in that I have developed a lot of uh, tools for free, and uh, and and now I am developing uh, some mobile apps on the, each of the tool. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. What kind of tools? Uh, these are free tools. Uh, these are like SEO related tools and mm -hmm. content uh, content optimization tools and all like for example Grammar Checker. We wow. have uh, uh, we have readable sorry readability checker and there are a lot of keywords uh, related tools like question keywords marketing keywords and uh, these keywords of different search engines like uh, Google Bing Yahoo YouTube and all yes there are a variety of tools you can go through this website and you can also see that maybe this can help you. Nice, yeah. I keep an eye. I'm not yes. very good at uh, tech stuff. What would you say is the best part of your job and the worst part of your job? Uh, the best part of my job is that uh, mm, that once I started my uh, own full time uh, work earlier, I was working uh, for a company, mm. and the worst part of my job was when I started my career. Why? Because at that moment I was not much sincere about solving problems and, uh, yes i had uh, i had uh, pressure from the reporting head and all mm -hmm. so i couldn't be able to uh, manage all that so that was my uh, i'm in bad time at that moment yeah. for initial six months nice good answer sorry i remembered another thing that i find useful for my students is to look up a list of phrasal verbs and maybe try every day to practice one phrasal verb because I think phrasal verbs are so important in spoken English and difficult to learn. So my tip to you would be to try and every day practice and learn one phrasal verb and try to use it that day. I think that can be better. Yes, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes, I don't have any questions. So in the next uh, class, I will be listening a great song from you. Okay, I'll try and pick something another one too. Okay, okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay.